Parasocial relationships. Been a hot subject lately. To fill people in who might not know, parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where someone believes they have a deep understanding and connection to another person, while the other person does not share the same bond, and in fact has little to no connection. This is not inherently a terrible thing. After all, we all have a light parasocial relationship of some kind in our lives. Maybe it's a celebrity, maybe it's an internet influencer, maybe it's your distant Uncle Joey who you've heard heroic tales about their mountain climbing adventures but you never actually met them. See, it's not that bad on its own to admire someone while they aren't aware of who you are. Where it becomes a problem is when someone gets a little too attached, building up this complex internal relationship to the point where they will do anything to make the other person happy. This can lead to someone giving a little too much of themselves. Maybe they spend too much time reading their posts, interacting in live events too often, sending more gifts than they otherwise would, and this can further make them believe that they're stronger friends than they actually are. And when the bubble finally bursts and this person is informed that they're not as close as they thought they were, that can have some... negative outcomes. There have been quite a few unfortunate cases where someone let their parasocial tendencies go a little too far. Some people have gotten obsessive, possessive, stalkerish, overall just a bad time all around. It's very important to remember not to get too attached to a public figure, or anyone online for that matter. You're likely only seeing a small portion of who they are. It's not really possible to have a deep understanding of someone from just the things you read and watch about them. Also, everyone's boundaries are different. One person's interpretation of friendship might be massively different to yours. I've been lucky to have mostly cool-headed people interact with me, either on my socials, my video uploads, or my live streams. But I have had a few instances where people got way too attached way too quickly. So for the record, I only really consider someone a friend after having many in-depth personal conversations. Not just conversations in public forums and streams, by the way. That's really the only way to tell if we're compatible. I gotta feel like we bounce off each other really well. Massive bonus points if I already know you IRL. Only then would I consider calling someone a friend. And even then, that doesn't mean that I'm demanding things out of our friendship. I know I wouldn't want someone to demand attention from me just because we're friends. So if that description doesn't describe our interactions, sorry, I wouldn't call you a friend. I'm cool with a few messages back and forth if I've got time, but it probably doesn't go past that. I'm sure a lot of other online personalities share the same sentiment, so please remember to treat your online interactions with caution and respect. We're all human. Let's not lift any one person up any higher than they need to be.